Hi everybody, Kenneth G. Hasty here, G for genius, <laughs> that I woke up. Anyway, today's video is called Unfortunately So. So what does unfortunately so mean? Well, today I was having uh, a meeting with a, a realtor who was seeking some advice on talking with their clients. And the situation is this, there's a house that's worth about $250,000 and the client wants to list it for $300,000. And she knows that if she lists it for 300,000, that nobody will buy it for that and likely they won't get the traffic and potential buyers because it's priced out of the range where it should be. So she wants to know a, a, a good way to have that conversation with them so that they're not set up for disappointment. And so, I learned a while back to use the word unfortunately. One of my favorite words when you have to deliver bad news. And then so is the lead in statement after that. So let's try it. So I told her, so what you want to do is, is sit down with the people and they say, well, we want to list it for $300,000. And you say, well, okay, but unfortunately, houses are based on, say, I let in with unfortunately. Unfortunately, house sales are based on the neighborhood and the neighborhood is only going for $250. And although we could list it at 300, nobody's going to come and look at it and you're not going to be able to sell it as fast as you'd like and um, you'll, you'll have a poor result. So what I'd recommend is listing it at 250 or possibly a little higher if you think it's going up. Let's say we'll go to 260 and we'll be sure to sell it and you'll be able to capitalize on the market right away and then go buy your new house. So now we've taken a, a, a poor situation and by using the words unfortunately, and so we've turned it around a little bit to where we can present it to them in such a way that it's not a conflict. So once again, you know, they want to sell it at 300, 250 is the market price. So it's like, well, unfortunately, real estate is done by the neighborhood and houses of this size in your neighborhood are going for 250. So there's, there's a lead in statement. So. What I recommend is da, da, da. So try that technique sometime, and, and I think you'll find it to uh, work pretty well for you to get out of some kind of difficult situations. We have to deliver bad news to people. Try using the word unfortunately to start off with because it frames them. It puts it in a, a framework that they're ready to hear some news that they don't want to hear, but at least it's been prefaced. It's not just a confrontation statement. And then once they've heard it, then so is where you bring in your recommendation. So unfortunately so. Give it a shot. I'm Kenneth G. Hasty. Uh, you can check me out at KennethGHasty.com. I'm a professional business growth consultant, and I'm the guy you call when you want to grow your small company into a bigger company. So check me out, KennethGHasty.com. You can email me, Kenneth, at KennethGHasty.com. And I'll even put a link in here if you want to talk a little business uh, where you can set up a phone call, and it'll just automatically sync with my calendar. So thanks, everybody, and have a great day. Kenneth G. Hasty, signing off.